Wahey. Woohoo. It's the adventures of Georgia and November. And we're in episode 8. Wahey. And this episode marks the occasion of Wertha meeting a girlfriend. Hmm. This is going to be very interesting. See you in a minute. Oh, hello again, my mates. Now, I am pleased to, to be here at Roper Road once more. And remember, this is the only place for students to live in and get an vacation. Woohoo! I know, there are lots of things that we haven't done for ages. Well, apart from the fact, of course. And hopefully, um, there's no same granny noise as it was back in Series 2, Episode 3. Do you remember that from a couple of episodes ago? I heard a strange growling noise, and we named him Wertha. Huh? Don't you think so? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Alright then, let's hope it doesn't do the same effect again. Huh? Was that, a, was that the same growl as Wertha did? Hmm, very strange. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Hey, Mrs. Stranger, are you up? Oh, hello, little girl. Hello. Here, were you making the same growling noise? Pardon? I said, were you making a growling noise just now? Pardon? Hmm. Ah, would you like to see George Buxton? Yeah, 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 yeah,
Would you like to tuck in? <laughs> Me? Tuck in? Uh, yep. Come on then. Tuck in then. Pardon? Tuck in. Like this. Oh. No, I meant into the sweet treats. Sweet treats? Uh, yeah, you got that right. Hmm, come on then. Let's tuck in. <gasps> Right, my turn. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that was delicious. Do you enjoy that? Uh, yes, I think I do. Well, I better close up the drawer before George sees. All right then. Uh, you just go ahead, and I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, darling. Well, I better put the I better close the drawer right away. So before George sees. Right, once more and <laughs> Well, see you in a minute, mashed potato. No hey there. Uh where are you? Hello, George. Oh hello, no hair bear. Um I hear somebody eating out of my drawer again. Uh, well, it's not just me this time. Who did it then? Uh, I'm afraid that we had to tell you the whole truth. Didn't we? Uh, I'm afraid we had to. Uh, well, you see, George, the Pink Teddy was very interested in your sugar freeze collection. Ah, thank you, Pink Teddy. But I'm afraid we might have eaten it all. You two might have eaten it all. What? You were saying that you two have eaten it all? Uh, oh yeah, I'm afraid we did. <gasps> oh, you two are as bad as each other. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to us then? Well, I'm not gonna punch Pink Teddy for that, but you may be a bit new to this episode, so you might want to look away. Oh, all right then. See you in a minute. But as for you, no hair bear, well, seeing as you have been punched in the face a couple of times, well, ever since we first started this series, back in, uh, like, Series 1, Episode 2. Well, for this time, it's going to be a big bruise you'll get. Uh-oh. Not this again. No, George, you can't do that to me. No, what are you doing? Oi, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> oh my head. Well, see you later, George. Well, see you later, greedy bear. Greedy bear. Greedy bear. How dare you? That's it. I'm gonna have to deal with you later. <laughs> out there oh uh, yeah sorry mummy Max. um you see no hair bear had a bit of an argument because i think you see he has eaten all my sugar-free stuff what you no hair bear's only eaten sugar-free stuff well i think we'll have to deal with him uh, it's all right mummy Max. you just don't need to rub it in it's just it's, i only deal with no hair bear that he's been eating it but of course you didn't do it on purpose though because you weren't in it yet oh i see now, um, who is the pink growling bear, then? Uh, we don't have a name for her yet, but I'm sure she'll like to meet you. Because, I mean, you're the same image. Uh, Pink Teddy, uh, you can come out now. You're safe. Hello again, George. Oh, hello, um, Pink Teddy Bear. So, um, what's all the noise, then? I already told them I'd be Rex, but I'm not telling you again. Oh, all right, then. Um... Uh, Who's that then, George? Oh, well, that's my, um, wife called Mummy Raccoon. Oh, well, I don't know what, I haven't got a name, but who are you then? Well, I'm Mummy Raccoon, and I'm a mother of baby Rax. Have you got your um, baby son with you then? Well, I believe I have, and in fact, he's just coming with me just now. Baby Raccoon, could you come up here, please? 
Okay, Mummy, I'm coming. Hello, Mummy. Oh, hello, Baby Raccoon. Um, who's the new visitor then? Well, this is Pinky Teddy. Of course, she hasn't got she hasn't got a name for her yet. Oh, I see. Have you met Have you met him yet? Um, no, I don't think so. Who is it then? Ah, oh, you dafty. This, however, is Pink Teddy. Don't you know? Oh, I didn't know her. Hmm. Who are you then? Uh, I, uh, I haven't got a name yet, but I'm pretty sure George will give me a name later. Well, I'm the baby raccoon. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Um, so what are you going to be doing for the rest of the day? Well, I think it's my feeding time. Did you know it was my feeding time? Uh, no. I never heard of feeding time, but I've already had sugar-free stuff from George's drawer. Oh. Uh, yeah, I had to agree. Well, see you later, um, baby raccoon. Oh, see you later. See you soon. Oh, uh, well, well, baby raccoon, it's certainly nice to meet you once more. Yeah, lovely to meet you too. Well, see you later. Yeah, see you later, mummy. Oi, about your mum? Baby Rax is my son, and I'm his mother. Oh, I forgot. Well, see you later then. Yeah, see you later. Well then, George. That's a very interesting teddy girl there. Well, yeah, it is very interesting. I bet Wilfred would make a good boyfriend to her. What? A girlfriend? A girlfriend? Well, she must be rich. Look, just because Wilfred is thinking about getting a girlfriend, but that doesn't genuinely mean that he will get a girlfriend. I think Wilfred's just thinking about it, and we haven't even heard of him yet. Oh, I see. This is going to be interesting in this episode. Well, see you later, George. Yeah, see you later, Bobby Raccoon. Well, there, we haven't had you yet. Oh, and uh, come on up and meet your new friend. Hello, everybody. Oh, sorry about that, everyone. Every time George shakes me, I get all glow in the dark again. Hmm, well, let's hope your new um, friend doesn't like you doing the glowing up thing. Hmm, and you're smart enough already. At least you're back to normal. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, could you uh, not do... Well, can you not do any shaking for me today? Because I'm just trying to impress my new friend. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Can you... I'm just not going to shake it from now. Ah, oh, that's good. Because I need to shake my new girlfriend. Uh, oh, sorry. I meant my new friend. Oh, alright then. I'll just get your new friend to come up. Hey, Pink Teddy, you can come up now. Hello, George. Well, I'm back here again. Hey, uh, Pinky, uh, come and meet your new friend. What new friend? You know, the same size as, as Wertha. Wertha? Who is Wertha? Well, he's your new friend. Uh, right. Oh, well. Okay, uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, Wertha, come and meet your new friend. Oh, okay then. Oh, uh, I just want you to look her straight in the eye and tell him, and tell her that um, you know you're, you know her very well. Oh, okay, George, right away. Hmm, and same for me. Oh, but I don't see how. Huh? Ooh, who are you, my lovely? Hi, handsome. Uh. Do you have a name now? Uh, well, George called me Wertha back in series two, episode three. Oh, well, I'm not sure if what the name has George has given me yet, but whatever it is, we'll find out in this episode. Well, I hope we'll meet each other again soon, my lovely. Ah, you say the sweetest things. I bet you say that to all the girls. Oh, 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 applesauce. I'm pretty sure we'll meet each other again very soon. See you later. See you later, darling.
Bye bye viewers. See you in a minute. Oh, isn't she pretty? I think we'll make my girlfriend a success. <laughs> I'm so happy I could jump on George's head. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Hey, George. Uh, yes, Werther? I'm going to jump on your head because I'm so happy that I might get a girlfriend. Because I like her now. Oh, uh, all right then. Seeing as you like your new friend, you could jump on me head. But I'm a, I won't. You do it as a one-off, mind. Is that understood? Yes. What? Have you said just yes now? Yes. Well, good. I thought you said something in the end. But remember, one off, no more. Oh, okay. Right away. Right then. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, I'm so happy that I could bounce on him. Oh, and I keep glowing in the dark too. Uh, I don't care, because I'm, I'm jumping on George's head. Why? Why, seeing as I'm going to be doing a bouncing again, I'm going to count from 10 seconds to 0 seconds now. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, one and blast off! Huh? Where did Werther go? Uh, Mr. Buxton? Uh, y y yes, Werther? Uh, are you down here? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid I am. But uh, where are you? Uh, I'm up here. Uh, have a look up. What do you mean I have to look up? Uh oh. Not this again. Oh. oh, well, not this again. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Oh. Well, it's just as long as Worth is happy. Just as long as Worth is happy. Hey, no hair there. Uh, could you come up here, please? Yes, George. Uh, is there anything important? Yeah, I believe I've got something to tell you. Oh, well, that's good. But I'm still going to deal with you right now, as I promised you. <gasps> oh, no. What do you think you're going to do to me? Uh, let me just think about it for a moment. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Ah, I know. Why? See, as I got you to be punched, I'm going to do it again. And this time, you will get a big bruise this time. <gasps> Uh-oh. Not this again. Ow! 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 Help! Call the police. Ow! Call the lifeguard. Ow! Help! Oi! Get off! Oi! What in the ear again? Not in me. Oi! Now look what you've done. That's what you'll get for calling me a greedy bear earlier. Right then, I'm going to keep beating you up until your face starts all red. Oh, not this again. Ow, 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 ow. If you don't stop beating me, I'm telling mummy rats on you. <laughs> not if I tell her on you first. <laughs> Help me. <sighs> mummy rats, can you get no hair bed to stop beating me? Oh. Is beating me just because I called him a greedy bear. Can you tell him off, please? Get off him, me. Oh, okay. I'll tell him to stop it. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> no hair bear? Uh, yes, uh, dearest. How dare you beat my friend up? call you then? He called me a greedy bear from earlier. All I have to do is just to beat him in the face. Well, I don't think that's very unacceptable. And as for that, it's my turn to do the same thing to you. Oh no, not this again. No, you can't do that to me. No, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. 
George, you're safe from that meany bear of yours. But at least you're safe with me now. Uh, so, I've heard that Werther has now got a new friend. Is that right, then? Uh, yep. I think Werther's liked his friend now. And hopefully, uh, he will have a girlfriend uh, later in this episode. But I'm pretty sure that we'll have a good time. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to. Well, goodbye, then. George? Well, goodbye, um, Mummy Raccoon. Ah, same to me. Ooh, what are we going to do today, Ben, the Bernice? Well, today, my pinky friend of our mine, we are now finally out of jail once more. Oh, well, that's good. Because I don't like being in jail anyway, Burness. Well, I had to agree with you for once. I don't like being in jail either. And I'm certainly not going to go back into the jail. Neither do I, Burness. Now, who are we going to kidnap then? Not Wertha this time. No, but I think we're going to kidnap um, Wertha's girlfriend. Hmm, I hear Wertha's got a new friend now. Hmm, I never heard of any of that, Burness. Hmm, do you think I might be a friend to you? If I was a girl or a boy? Hmm, depending on what dinosaurs that you are. Well, we'll just have to kidnap him, won't we? Well, okay. Let's go and kidnap um, Werther's girlfriend then. Okay then, I'll meet you in a minute, Burness. Goodbye, everyone. Ow! Burness, what did you do that for? Ah, <sighs> do we have to go through this every time we do something? Uh. No. What? Why? Why can't I do the same thing as I already do? Because we're bad guys. Remember that we were broke out of jail. Oh yes, Burness. I can't even guess Burness. Ah, oh, just will you stop going on about Burness and me? Burness this, Burness that, blah, blah, blah. I never heard such rubbish. But, but it's the only way to call you Burness. Burness? Oh, never mind. Let's go and kidnap Werther's girlfriend. Come on, then. Hey, wait for me. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm now a girlfriend of Werther. Hmm, but I still haven't got a name for it yet. Well, I'll just go over to George Buxton. George Buxton, where are you? <laughs> oh, hello, um, uh, Pinky. Uh, hmm, I'm just still thinking about a name for you. Oh, hmm, like what? Well, I mean, I already know it's worth her. But who am I going to be called then? I mean, there aren't any other names that involves girls, is there? Hmm, let me see. So, I'm thinking of a rhyme that begins with worth her. Hmm, worth her, birth her, uh, Bert. Uh, Bert is not a girl's name. That's a boy's name. Oh, right, my fault. Uh, let's see. Uh, Werther, Bertha, uh, Martha. Mm, similar. Not bad. Uh, hmm. Out of a lot. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, ah, I, I know. I think I'm going to call you Bertha. Oh, Bertha. Ooh, I like that name. Uh, is it named after an original television program or something? Uh, yep, I think the, tele the children's television program is called Bertha, which you can find on which you can find on YouTube. Oh, do we have a classic episode? Uh, yep. Well, uh, except Bertha is not just a girl teddy bear like you are. She's named uh, here after a famous machine who does all these strange things, which is a bit of Postman Pat sort of stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I suppose you're right. It is a bit like Bertha with Postman Pat. Well, I like that name as much. Well, I'll 
just go and find Werther to tell him that my name is now uh, Bertha. Oh, see you later, George. See you later, uh, Bertha. Hello, everybody, once again. Now, I've got some good news for you. The good news is that my name is now Bertha. Wee-hee! Well, and I'm pretty sure Bertha would like me as the name. Hmm, I mean, there wasn't any other teddy bears around here. Well, I think there must be something strange about this. Huh? What's that noise? Where did that come from? Hmm, I mean, there isn't any other dinos around here. Well, I mean, I don't mind if I'm on the black screen. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Huh? Huh? Who keeps poking me? Oh, that must mean my dream things then. Uh, still, as I was saying, my name is Bertha now. And I'm pretty sure that we still have a good time. Wait. Somebody poked me again. Oh, I mean, there isn't any other dinosaurs around here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's any... What? Wait a minute. Did I follow that dino's tail? Uh, oi, you, Mr. Stranger, turn yourself around. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Oh, hello, dearest. Yeah, who are you? I'm Purple Dinosaur, and I'm the villain, and Pinky and I are going to kidnap you. <gasps> You're going to kidnap me? You're going to kidnap me? Oh, no! I don't want to be kidnapped by whoever did. Help! Help! Anybody help me? No, there is nobody to help you, and you're going to be kidnapped. Hey, Pinky, come up here. Oh, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, yes, Bernice? Look what we got here, then, uh, Pinky. This is Bertha, and I already heard about her. And we are going to kidnap her. Oh, no, you're not. Take this. hey -ya! Ow! Oh, how dare you beat me up. That's it. We're just going to have to take you away. Uh-oh. Better get out of here. Uh -oh. oh, no, you don't. Wait, wait. <laughs> No, not until you're dead. Oi, Stinky Pixie, you're not getting away with it. Stinky Pixie? Don't ever call me Stinky Pixie again. Well, you already are, just like that smelly purple dinosaur who is very ugly. <gasps> smelly purple dinosaur? And I'm ugly? How very dare you? Right, we're just going to have to take you away then. Come on then. Yeah, let's go, Bernard. Somebody help me! I'd be kidnapped by those two colourful dinos! Help! Wava! Help! Wava! Help! I'd be kidnapped! Rescue me! Help! Huh? What's all that screaming coming from? What are we going to do then? I mean, I mean, um, Wava's the only one who can rescue her. That would make her a girlfriend then. Oh, right. I'll just get Wava to help him to rescue his girlfriend. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Weather, could you come up here, please? Hello, everybody. Uh, what sort of screaming about? Ah, uh, didn't you hear the scream from last time? Uh, not that I know of. Hey, uh, guess what? What? Uh, may I whisper in your ear? Sure. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I believe your girlfriend has been kidnapped. What? My girlfriend has been kidnapped? Oh no! I've got to rescue her somehow. Let me see what those two pesky dinos. What are we going to do though, Heather? I mean, there isn't any other way to rescue her. Well, the only way that you can rescue her is trying to defend off those bad dinos. Oh, I'm good at that now. Because I mean, Baby Max has rescued me before. And the same with Mummy Raccoon. Oh, alright then. I better let you go off on your own then. Well, this is going to be a big moment there, folks. Well, 
see about the fight, see. Is that you? Um, I hear your name is Bertha now, but where are you? Uh, I'm over here! Help me! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Bertha! I didn't know your name was Bertha! Yeah, George has already called me just now! <gasps> oh no! My beautiful girlfriend! <sighs> Two dinos! Let her go! No we won't, you stupid chicken! Right then, I'm going to have to fight you then. But first, you have to put my girlfriend down first if you want to fight with me. Oh, all right then, if you say so. Well, all right then, Pink Teddy, you're free to go. Oh, thank you, guys. Ah. Right, now then, let's fight. Hello and welcome to the Fight Club. Now, today's contestants starts off with the two coloured dinos, Bernice and Pinky the Dinosaurs. They have been um, lost to losers for all champions, and they're having a roar there. And I'm George Bugs, and I'm your competitor for today. And of course, we got a very special green bear. It's Werther the Green Bear, who tries to rescue his girlfriend from in danger. Three, two, one. And the fight is on the way! And look at those three things fighting each other, trying to fight for his girlfriend back in return. Oh, of course, whoever does some kung fu and the better dinosaurs. Oh dear, this is getting a bit fast for me. Well, I'm going to fight you again. And there's that secret weapon when Werther flies off and then flies back on his bottom. Ow. Ow. Oh. And Werther is fighting again. And Binky Dinosaur got blazed and does some kung fu over the two dinos. And he's very good at that sort of thing. And of course, um, and we got the secret weapon for last. And I know I don't like doing it in front of a lady friend of mine. But there isn't any other choice. Oh, well, no, you don't. Not this again. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to. Right, here we go. What the heck? I'm gonna do a ground pound on you. Oh. oh, are you going to give up now? No, you're never giving up. You get out of my life. But uh, no. Then he brother does the right. ground pound that, then. on we'll those dinos. If you two up in the mask, and then you'll be back in German out. Uh oh, watch out, viewers. Look away now. Right, three, two, one. Hey, where did Werther go? And there's Werther doing a lift off and then punches the dinos right back to jail. Yeah. And then George's hand dropped those two dinos yeah. on. I knew I could win. Yeah. Now to rescue my girlfriend. Well, you're not so lucky now, you feminist. Werther is the winner. Well, I'll be just releasing her. See you in a minute. Help me, Werther. It's alright, me lady. I'm here now, and I'm here to rescue you. 
Yeah, let me just untie you for what those two fine reverse dinosaurs does. Right, there you go then. You're free now, and I've re rescued you. Oh, woof! You are a right darling. You saved me. You're my hero. Oh, oh, oh shucks. Oh. Oh, I feel all wobbly, but I could faint. Sorry about this, viewers. You might want to look away now as I faint. Mm. Oh well, but at least Wurfy liked me. And I'm pretty sure that I'll just wake him up with a big kiss for once more. Ah, I feel better. Now then. Seeing as you have been rescued by me, would you like to come back to see George with me? Oh yes, please, Wertha. And I'm pretty sure I will enjoy that. Yeah, I thought you will. Come on then, let's hold hands so that we can be friends together. And we are now officially boyfriends and girlfriends. Woohoo! Well, see you later. Um. My pinky mates? Yeah, I say here. Come on, let's go. Wertha, is that you? Have you rescued your girlfriend? <sighs> yes, George. <sighs> yes, George. Wurfer had rescued me. He's my hero. Oh, is that true, Wurfer? Did you really rescue your girlfriend? Uh, yes, I certainly did. And I'm pretty sure that my girlfriend would like to be sometime married. Oh, right. I've forgotten about the marriage bit. Hmm, we'll have to do that in the next episode or so. Oh, all right then. Now, uh, just before we end this episode, Bertha, my very own little girlfriend, as as part of my matrimony. Uh, oh, I haven't got any ring. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Hmm, see you in a minute. Oh, he's going to be extra something special. Hmm, I'll just wait here until Bertha comes back. Hmm, where am I going to get a ring or a present from? Hmm, it's got to be something behind me, isn't it? Hmm, ah, there's the one I was looking for. Oh, and it must be one of the drawing pins. Hmm, that would make a great ring on her. Hmm, let's go and pick it up then. Right, here we go then. And... Oh, oops, come here little devil. There we go. There's a drawing pin. Well, that's my girlfriend, of course. All right, then. Come on, then. Let's go back. Hello, George. Oh, hello, uh, Wertha. What's that you got there? Uh, it's either a ring or a brooch, but it's also known as the drawing pin. Ah, uh, all right. That'll make a perfect present for your girlfriend. Hey, Pinky, Wertha's got you a present. Oh, yeah. What is it, George? Uh, turn around. Oh, what's that you got there? Well, Martha, I would like to be pledging of my marriage to you. So, as of right now, will you marry me? Would I marry you? Uh, and I see you've got a dream pin. Well, may I put it on first? Oh, uh, sure. Here you go, dearest. Put out your hand. Uh. Looks like a perfect ring. Hmm, that makes you you that you're gonna be my bride for some time. Ah, oh, that ring is very beautiful. Ah, oh, worth it. Do you know what do you wanna know what my answer is to your question? Oh, uh, go on then. What is it? Uh well, I think my real answer is Yes! I think I will marry you. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, come here, dear. Come here, sweetie.
uh, viewers, um, if you want to see your, uh, if you want to see Werther and Bertha kissing each other, um, or for those of you who don't want to see it, please look away now. Only for wusses who can see the people kissing. Mm. Well, we're both gonna be a fluffy couple. Oh yeah, I agree with Bertha, and she's my. Beautiful girlfriend now, and she's gonna make me my wife. Yeah, I agree with Werther, and I'm pretty sure we'll be back in the next episode for the wedding. Yeah, of course we will, and I'm pretty sure I'll invite all my toy friends to come up and join us. Oh, okay then. Well, see you in the next episode then, for the wedding. Yeah, same here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Anyway, and as for me, however, we'll see you in the next episode. So, I will see you then. So until then, goodbye for now. Cameraman? Uh, Mr. Cameraman? Why are you still filming us? Oh, I see. It's because we got our very own Luffy Duffy epilogue. That means we are in love now. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll have a good time during this epilogue. Oh, I see you are glowing in the dark. How beautiful. Oh, thank you. I knew you'd love me. Do you love me now? Yes, I believe I do. And I'm pretty sure we'll be married in the next episode. But let's just have a, a kiss to celebrate. Yeah, very good idea. <coughs> ah, that feels good. Don't you think, dear darling? Yeah. I agree with you, my main man. Yeah, I agree. And you are more beautiful than ever. <laughs> <laughs> and let me kiss you on the hand for luck. <laughs> oh, you really are very cheeky. Yeah, of course I am cheeky. Now, uh... What should we do next? Uh, do you do all these epilogues? Um, even if it's, your, if it's like our first ever epilogue, not just two of us. Yep, we sometimes, we always do the punching on the webcam ones. Well, let's not do that on the Luffy Duffy epilogue. Yeah, good idea. Uh, Mr. Cameraman, we have decided that we are not going to punch you in the face this time because Werther, oh sorry, Werther and I won't be punching him because we're the nice bears now. Ah, thank you. After all these epilogues, ever since we first started in series one. Oh, that's good. Let me give you a kiss. Yeah, and same here. Ah, thank you, you guys. I'm pretty sure we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, of course we will. Won't we, dearest? Yes, we will, my darling man. Yeah, come on then. Let's go home and have some dinner together. Oh, okay. Let's go home. Oh, come on then. Now, shall we, uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Shall we walk together then, my sweet? Oh, thank you. I'd love to. Well, see you in the next episode. Yeah, see you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me just carry it on. Oh, you really are very strong, Wertha. How did you get so muscly? Uh, well, it wasn't easy, really. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure that I'm also very strong. Let's carry you home. Well, goodbye, everyone. See you at the wedding. <laughs>
Well, so there you have it, folks. Our lovely Duffy Emma. Thank you.